who wants to play a game with me? That's the first question. The second one is, who wants to help us make a game that we will all play together? Who wants to be a game designer? So, the first question is, who wants to play this game with me to help us decide what kind of game we should play or make together, to play together? What is this game? This is called Elvenar. If you just want to check it out, go to us.elvenar.com and the link will be down there in the description below. And if you want to play with me, then you must choose the right server, and that is Kelinar. So if you, I'll hide myself because I'm hiding part of this window. If you want to play with me, choose Kelinar, and that will take you to us 4 dot elvenar.com slash game and then you need to join the MGN guild how do you do that well you just search for the MGN or just MGN when you have the option to join a guild they call them fellowships not guilds and then you will be immediately accepted if you're a freedom partner now there's only 25 people who can join a fellowship so it's the first 25 people now what is this game this is a casual browser-based game. It's free to play. What that means is you don't have to pay anything, although you can if you want to buy these diamonds. They're the virtual currency. And the game is really a uh, strategy game where you need to plan what to build in what order to maximize your uh, army size as well as uh, the growth of your gold and your resources. So it's a resource management browser-based game. Now the second question, if you remember, was who wants to work with us to design a game that we will all play together? So we'll talk about that in another video, but in this video I really want to get a sense for this type of game because they're easy to make. This isn't a World of Warcraft, guys. Of course, it's not going to be as fun as a Diablo 3 or a Blizzard game, but it is a simple game to build. So if we do make a game together, we need to make one that's easy to make. So let's see if this is a game that you will enjoy. Try it out with me. Remember, only 25 people, and let's see how it plays. So I am going, there's quests here. I'm told I need to have a main hall of level two or higher, and I need to have two glorious statues, which I've built. So now I get these rewards, the 10 uh, planks, uh, marble, and steel. And those are special resources in this game. Now I'm going to build a few more uh, re residences because they give me gold. So I'll put one here. Now you'll notice it has a little um, a circle with a line through it, meaning I need to connect it with a road. So I'm going to place a road here. And that gives me, uh, that lets my residences operate. Now this one will be constructed in three seconds. So everything has a timer in this game and the residence just got built. So you can also produce different kinds of uh, items. It's all based on time. So in five minutes, this will produce four resources. In 15 minutes, this will produce 11. And in an hour, this will produce 29. So depending on how often you want to come back to check on the game is what kind of time you'll choose. So I just fixed a missing street connection. I got 2,000 uh, gold as a reward. And this guy is telling me to negotiate three encounters. So let's take a look at combat in this game. So combat in this game is in the world map. Here, I can go attack the neighboring provinces and collect more relics, which you can use to get bonuses and other perks. So let's go to this uh, this province and I see that this province has four sets of bandits of two each each bandit has certain stats there is a uh, three movement and a four range so this guy is an archer now the quest said I need to negotiate three encounters so negotiation means we're not gonna fight we're going to uh, we're going to give them things so let's give them uh, these. So I got the gems and the knowledge point. The knowledge point is for research and now I need to negotiate two more encounters. So uh, this one is a lot of gold. I don't want to spend so much gold. Uh, this one is uh, about the same. 
ah, but this one is much cheaper, but it uses one of these special planks. But that's okay, we can make the planks later. So I'll negotiate that one. And then one more. This one. All right. So let's go back to town and let's get my reward. And it said, our next step depends on your decision. Will you research the barracks and discover more about warfare or just or will you focus on town building? Now, I prefer to go into combat because combat is a faster way to progress in this game. So I'm going to build a barracks next. And I would recommend you do too if you play with me. So let's go build a military barracks. But I need to unlock the technology. So the technology is from here, the research. These uh, knowledge points are used to research technology. So this is like a, 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 a tree of, of technology similar to civilization if any of you played civilization 5 so I'm going to use seven points now we're missing one point so we need to get one more point and we can get that by uh, by by combat or by negotiation so let's go to one of these provinces and let's see who we can negotiate with I will negotiate this one because if I fight I only have 25 of these uh, axe barbarians, which is not enough to uh, to defeat these without taking some losses. I need to build up my military first. So instead, I'm just going to uh, negotiate to get that extra knowledge point. And now I can research the barracks. And it's done. Plus, I have to activate it, which costs additional resources. And now we have unlocked the barracks. And now we can get this reward. And now it's going to ask me to probably, I need to finish the first province, which means I have to conquer the first province. And I have to start to beverages. OK. So the beverage is here in my workshop, which will give me in five minutes four, four of these hammers, uh, supply storage. And now I'm going to collect my reward. And now it's asking me to build a barracks. OK, so now let's build the barracks here. Now, wherever I put it, it has to be connected with a path, with a, uh, with a little road. So I'll just put it here for now. But you can always move things. So I can move this uh, statue, which gives us culture. And culture helps us increase our uh, productivity. Right now we're at 100%, but I would like to uh, get it to 170%. So I need to build culture buildings. So uh, let's move this one into the little corner here. And then let's make a path to connect him with, hmm, I'll have to fix that later, but this is the most efficient way to do it. I can, so it's going to be done in, in one minute, so we have to wait for that. In the meantime, let's reorganize our, um, our structures here to be more efficient with the space. And as you can see, we've lost, okay, there we go. So now, I would like to build a path. Hmm. Yeah, there's several ways we could do this, but let's worry about it later. We don't need the path there. So paths are free at this level, so we don't need to worry about building them or, or not building them. OK, 15 seconds to go. Now we can collect all the gold we've accumulated so far. And it's always a good idea to upgrade your residences at least to level two right away. It takes an, oh wait, this one is already level two. My bad. You can see the little star that shows it is level two. So I would like to upgrade this one to level two. And I would like to, oh, so we have the barracks now. Great. They gave us 25 more warriors and 200 uh, supplies. And now it's telling us to train one axe barbarian. So let's train just one axe barbarian. It'll take only two minutes. And this will help us 
build our army. Let's build a bridge here. And we need to finish the first province, and we need to train one axe barbarian. So while that's happening, let's Oh, and we're not, we don't have any music playing. Let's turn on the music. It's very nice music. So let's get a residence because gold is actually one of the hardest things to, to collect in this game. Even though it looks like we have a lot right now, uh, we will run out of gold very quickly because upgrading structures does take a lot of gold. For example, see it's a thousand gold and only 130 supplies, roughly a 10 to 1 ratio. So I like to keep building residences and I'll build one more. Now you can see we only have three builders here, so we can only build three things at a time. We have to wait for them to finish. Uh, this barbarian will be done very soon, so I'll make one more residence. Here. And I will upgrade this one. And I will upgrade this one. Oh, we have to add a builder, which means I have to wait for a construction to finish before I can upgrade the residence. And this also needs to upgrade after we finish. Oh, we already have uh, three upgrades going. So let's wait for that. And this barbarian will be done in 46, oh, 9 seconds, 8 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. And here we go. Trained one axe barbarian. And now it's asking us to fight and win an encounter. Alright, let's go do that after we start this upgrade. Now we will also need resources in addition to um, residences and here we have uh, two little residence or resources that just got finished. Now these workshops are also important to upgrade so let's do that right now. have three workshops we probably need to build a few more let's go and do that right now one. oh we have no more workers this one will be done in 18 seconds five seconds and that'll take an hour so uh, we'll let that run so now we can build one more workshop which is here like to build one more as soon as this finishes. Done. There. So we also would like to upgrade our residences a little further. And you can see it's now 3,000 gold and 390. Uh, this will take an hour. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. And now we're really running low on gold and resources. So let's. Uh, Let's just build one more workshop, or, yeah, workshop, I think, or maybe another residence. What do you say, guys? Workshop or residence? We have one, two, three, four, five workshops, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten residences. Hmm. I think we should build another residence because, as you see, we're running low on gold. All right, now we should upgrade every residence to level two. I think these are all level two. Yes, they are. And that one is going to be level three when it finishes in an hour. This one is level one, so let's upgrade him. Oh, we can't afford it. We're very close, so all we need to do is wait for one of these residences to finish generating gold and then we'll be able to upgrade this residence. And I still need to fight and win the encounter. So we should train more of these units, which cost simply resources. And 
here is our goal. Plus six, that puts us over a thousand, so now we can upgrade this. Oh! How come? Oh, we need culture. Aha! So we forgot to build culture buildings. Sorry about that. So let's build some of these culture buildings, and let's make room by moving these. In fact, we can move that one there. And now we can build more of these cultures. And we also want to fill that one more gap. So this will be done in 30 seconds. But let's, oh, we have no more builders. Oh. Waiting for us to do something else. Let's go five minutes again. Come on back home. And these are waiting for beverages as well. And we can now build in now another culture statue. Okay, now we can expand our uh, city limits. Uh, later on, we'll be able to buy these expansions, but we need to conquer a province first before it lets us. So now we're at 150%, 160%, and that means we will be gaining more of these pieces of gold as well as uh, supplies if this has a higher multiple. So we want to wait till we hit 170%, and we're so close. Uh, we just need one more, but we have no room. You can see, everything is full. So we can't, uh, we can't do that yet. <clears throat> So let's go, hmm, we can cancel this, upgrade, get back the money, it's a 100% refund, and now we're at 170%, you can see why we did that. And that's why this is a strategy game, guys, that you really have to think on how to maximize your, uh, your growth, uh, what to do in what order. So let's... Uh, conquer that province, the last one here, that we were told to do. Now let's fight these guys. So there's eight of them. They are bandits. And let's put on all of our units and fight. Here is combat. This is how combat looks in this game. So I will hide myself so you can see the full combat. So this guy you can see he's blocked. Uh, now he can walk through here. Oh no, he can't. I guess we have to walk down this way or up there. So let's see which direction he goes. I'm just going to... Now remember, he can attack for a range of four. So one, two, three, four. So I can safely go here. He won't be able to hit me. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I can safely go here, and I think I can safely go, what's his movement again? Three. So you can walk three, one, two, three, four. So I can safely go here, and here. Let's see what he does. So he'll build a move, one, two, three, and then he'll have an attack range of four. So one, two, three, four. So I have to back up a little bit. I think one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So he can hit a lot. If I want to not get hit, I have to go up here. Up one, 
here. Now I can come attack him, but I can't really reach him, because these guys can only move three. I don't have any range units of my own, so all of that strategy, I still will get hit. He killed two of my guys, and I can't reach him. <laughs> wow. Okay. I still can't reach him. Alright, we're doing this pretty badly, guys. All we can do is try to squeeze through this, and he's going to, of course, run away. So hopefully, we can now reach him. <laughs> and I just needed one hit. We lost four units, so that was not cool. So each of these battles have a different battleground, and... Um, let's see what this one will look like. So in this battleground, uh, wow, it's again got a lot of areas that are blocked. So let's just try to get out of our, our area here. Oh, it already hit me. Oh, so bad. These range units are really difficult when I'm getting stuck here. I can't even... My own guys, I'm tripping over my own guys. Okay. defeated our first province and we can reward go back home and I'll put my video back on so we have won the encounter we got 10 10 of these special uh, relics we also achieved the, finished the first province so now we need to train at least 12 units, which we are doing so in 15 minutes. And we can train more. And we need to have two workshops at level 2 or higher. So two workshops at level 2 or higher. So do we have one at level 2? This one. So let's make this one a level 2 workshop. Yes. Oh. Ah, but now we have lost 10% of our production. But that's okay, because we can now expand. So, let's build an expansion. And where should we build the expansion? I think right here. So now we can build a path here, and we can create, uh, let's see, what should we create? A culture, of course. Or should we build one of these? Yes, because they're more efficient. This only gives 21 culture for a one by one. So times three would be 63, but this is 67, so we get a bonus four culture. But of course, we have to have a three by one spot. And sometimes it's hard to find three by one spots. 
but that's okay. Let's build it anyway. Okay, that'll be done in a minute. That means we can also upgrade our residence here. Oh, but we can't afford it. So maybe we can't upgrade just yet. So now we are at... Ah, we will have to be able to get this reward. So what is the next quest? Complete another province for 5,000 gold. Train at least 12 units. So I will upgrade... See, the next one is 14,000 gold, so you can see why we need so much gold. And um, So these residences are all level 2. Can we upgrade one to level 3? We can. Should we? Ah, this one is still level 1. We should upgrade him first to level 2. Now let's stay, step away from the game for how about 15 minutes? <laughs> sure. So I will choose 15 minutes now for these, this set of uh, production. But I would like to upgrade the workshop. Well, maybe not yet, because those are expensive. I would rather upgrade the uh, residences. Actually, I would like to buy more residences, because we have room. So let's do that. Buy more residences. And these will be done very soon, in just a few seconds. We should also make use of the research points, but let's first buy more residences and upgrade all of these to level 2. We are going to run out of money soon, but that's okay. Because we have residences that will help us make more money. Now how about culture? So we have a lot of culture, which is great. It's because we built this, which gave us 67. Mm -hmm. so we have another 43, 53 to go. And that'll take 38 seconds. So we've set everything to 15 minutes. We have our uh, soldiers, that'll be done in 10 minutes. And then we can go make another video <laughs> so I will end this video here so you have a good sense of what this game is I guess we should first uh, maximize our research so city expansions are very important I will do that one next <clears throat> so that we can keep accelerating our our growth and upgrade this Gold. Now the gold you don't have to collect right away. That will keep accumulating until it reaches a maximum of 1,190. Uh, but these uh, resources, you do have to, where are they? The workshops. Uh, that's the residence. The workshops, you do have to collect. Uh, they don't continue accumulating while you're waiting. So just make sure you maximize your culture bonus at 170%. You maximize uh, space that you have allotted for growing your city and that's how you progress faster in this game. So we're, al we're already rank 8,584 on the server out of how many people? Out of, let's see, out of 36,393. <laughs> so we're doing quite well I think. And of course we are part of the fellowship, the MGN. MGN is the multi-gaming network, as we all know. Okay, let's see if we can fill out this uh, membership of 25 people quickly on this server, us4.elvenr.com. 
All right. Who am I? I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom. And you've been watching... And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom family. You are part of it. We are all part of it. And we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.